Look at that. You stick the cover in there and nobody sees all this. Yeah. Uh, all you know what I mean? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is the Vikings Garage. So, what if I was to ask you, are you done modifying your 4Runner? What would your answer be? So, up until a few weeks ago, I thought I was, you know, getting pretty caught up. And then I get a message from uh, one of my viewers. Started talking back and forth and he sends me two pictures of the trunk of his car. And I say to myself, whoa, what is that? And well, you might want to watch the rest of the footage because you, my friend, might be able to get your hands on one of these. All right, Matt, so what do we got here? So this is my 4Runner cargo storage cover. What this 4Runner should have come with from the exactly, factory, right? Honestly, I know, yeah. honestly, I mean, every other gen, I had a third gen, it had a nice cover. Yeah. Fourth gen also had a nice cover. But uh, sometimes, somehow they left a fifth gen out of that. Of course it goes without saying, but we 4Runners uh, guys already know, if you have the Pioneer yes. uh, system, then <laughs> yes, <laughs> this video does not apply. But guys, you tell me this is not super cool. And I mean, this looks legit. This looks just like you said, this should have came from factory this way. Yes. And of course, I'm going to put all uh, the links in the description down below, guys. But uh, he's going to make a small batch of this, and uh, we're going to show you all it is installed. Super easy, right, Matt? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah and got a uh, nice template. Exactly. The, the only thing you're doing to your Forerunner here is two self-tapping screws, stainless. Everything is uh, weather and UV resistant. I kept oh, that in mind. That's a plus. Because I know where these things go. Um, two little screws right up into this area here. Uh, if one day you remove it, you'll you'll never see the holes. Yeah, so. yeah I got you. Yeah, I, I figured that much. Yeah. Yep. So this is a, a really nice push button latch here. It'll come like this. Press it. Unscrew. Oh, wow. That looks pretty legit. Yep. Goes right in there. Keep it depressed. Little washer. Jam nut. This also has some uh, some up and down adjustment okay. to kind of dial in your, uh, I got your you, latch. Yeah. Wow, that's very clever, actually. Just a little bit. There's also um, a fair amount of adjustment here, forward and back. Okay. So, all adjustable. And this is very a very forgiving project. Say somehow you mess up the install of these screws, um, you could just slide it over a little bit, you know? The, oh, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying, yeah. yeah. As long if you as mess I it up here, you can go here. Yeah, and as yeah. as long as it catches it, I, I get what you're saying. You can also go there. So yeah, you yeah, got a lot yeah, of tries. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, you you make the two first holes, and I think with the two first holes, either moving the plate one way or the other, that's what you were trying to say. It's gonna work. Yeah, exactly. I, I get what you're saying. Exactly. This is essentially you don't even need to do what I did if you have a piece of tape and a marker or something. But essentially, right. what we're doing is showing where uh, center line of our latches. I got you. Give or take. Give or take, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's basically so you guys know where is the area that you're going to be working with mm -hmm. on the inside. Yep. Yep. Next comes this right here. This front line, this front edge, simply goes on the, the front oh, edge that's, there. That's pretty simple, yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, guys, honestly, in person here, looking at it, this is definitely a very nice product. Props to Matt, he really went above and beyond with this thing. Lots of hours. I believe it. <laughs> I can just imagine taking measurements of this. Yes, uh, definitely the hardest part, to try yeah. to um, transfer this organic shape exactly. into CAD. Oh my gosh, I can just imagine. Yeah, this is my sixth version. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. wow. So, CNC yeah. cut. Fit it, measure. Listen, I think I speak for the entire community. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, you know, all good products come from when you personally have the need. Exactly. So. Yeah. And you, this was a vision you had, and you put it into yeah. fruition. I yeah. Mean, yeah. I love it. What's uh, interesting? You showed me the two pictures. I'm sorry for interrupting, but you showed me the two pictures, and I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, let's <laughs> yeah, go. Yeah. Are you asking me or telling me? Yeah. <laughs> so obviously, the first one I made was for me. I you know spent whatever i just wanted yeah, a really nice I got cover you, yeah and uh 
Yeah. I, after seeing how much time it took me to make one, I said, you know, there might be a demand for these. And uh, absolutely, here we are. And I know you're going to be successful. So thank you. Yeah. So uh, self tapper. Anytime you're you're screwing stuff into plastic, you don't want to be threading it in and out. So what we're going to do here. One shot. Yeah. I yeah. Get it. What we're going to be doing here is simply doing the pilot. So we're just going to dig in a little bit. We're not going to thread it in. We're going to do that for both. Remove the stickers. Right. Get the latch up there and uh, make sense. Yeah. Thread it in for good. Yep. All right. So with this alignment sticker, you just pick your spot. I got the uh, self tapper in the socket, and pretty much you're just gonna put it on the spot for the hole. Work it back and forth. You can, if you have a, a ratchet that will. Oh, this one's backwards. But uh, just work it back and forth, and you're oh. you're essentially drilling a drilling just this little exactly. pilot hole while applying pressure upwards yeah. yep ideally if your ratchet can handle it you know you're actually going to get some ratcheting here but uh once you pop through to that point go a thread or two and stop exactly stick her out stick her out these are ready to rock we got a scissor here but maybe a razor blade will work but just get rid of these burrs here that are on the uh entrance of the hole good to go Take your striker for your latch. Now, since you have that pilot hole drilled, it just slides right through. Keep it as straight as possible, obviously. It is kind of an angled surface, but we will see. The key is to not take this thing in and out a hundred times. <laughs> exactly, yeah. But like I said before, if you do, it's okay because you have a you have a few options on where to actually put this striker. Right. You know, you can go left one one hole, you can go right one hole, or you could completely flip it around and have it come that way. So right. you do have a lot it's of options. It's very adjustable. Yes. That's coming out pretty nice. Yeah. You barely see it. That's I, I like a uh, a mod that's clean. Easily reversible if for whatever reason you don't like it, but absolutely, I think you will like this one. And, oh, yeah. uh, minimal, I don't want it to be a, uh, a full day project here. I, th I think you can probably get this done in about 10 minutes. Or oh, less. yeah, Absol absolutely. Low, low number of required tools, all the good stuff. This is definitely the type of stuff that you guys can do at home, there's yeah. absolutely no doubt about it. And I think the payoff is huge, if you ask me. Oh, yeah, it's uh. Living with it myself for a few months here, I've had a ton of value in it. It's just uh, simple, clean, and like I said, it's what the, the truck should have come with. Yeah, I, I gotta tell you, man, I, I think you're right. If they had put a door in there, you can always say you don't like the door, you could take it out, but hey, we fixed that problem, didn't we? Yep, so we may have to uh, adjust a little bit. We have some exactly. back and forth adjustment. We have some up and down here, but uh, let's go for it. Let's do it. Bottom. Bottom hooks in, snaps right into place. Got a little bit of uh, wiggle room left to right there. That's for uh, thermal expansion in some hot summers. Yeah. This one hand, like I said. That's it. Wow, look at that. <laughs> you told me that if I told you that that's aftermarket that you would have believed me. <laughs> that looks like it came that way. That's the goal. Holy smokes, man. Thank you. You are a genius. And then to remove it, just that's it. Works for me. And this one, you reach in and yeah. you're, uh, you're pressing that latch right there. I got you, yeah. So the question here is, guys, um, who's going to get it first and, <laughs> and what are you uh, going to store in there? I definitely would love to hear what you guys got to say on that on the comment section down below. Oh, but you thought we were done. Nope. Wait a second here. Because as it turns out, Matt has a pretty cool rig of his own. Check it out. 22. 22, look at that. ORP. And you, you said, what was it? I, I want you to tell the people. So I had a uh, 2002 Sport Edition Thundercloud Gray. I love that truck so much. And how many miles were on it? 209 when I sold it. <laughs> Did you, everything. You heard that. 209, man. Well, the problem is, just like a lot of older cars, and I'm sure you can attest to that, yeah. you just didn't want to be wrenching on it on the weekends, which I completely understand. Yep. It's a Toyota, but at the end of the day, it's still an older car. So? Love I, these. 
yes. I originally didn't want running boards. Yeah. Because I, I just think it looks better without them. It looks a little higher up. Yeah, yeah. But uh, after trying to get in and out without them, yeah, I, got I kept them on. Yeah, you see that the height on yours looks very similar to what the, what the height on my uh, truck is right now. Yeah. I have a inch and a half. Oh. Inch and a half up here. So you're definitely, you're definitely a... Uh, Oh, you're a little higher than me. Yeah, oh, well, I see that. Yeah. Yes. Three quarters here means inch and a half out here because yeah. of the I got you, yeah. You know, it's very subtle, though. <laughs> Tint up front, weather techs. Yep. Uh, very cool. A little dirty, but this is pretty neat. Wow, look at that knob. What's T up with that? Tacoma TRD Pro. I painted the... These were uh, red. I painted them black. Really? Wow. This is a... Uh, uh, it's actually a Honda Civic shift boot. From a guy in Poland on Dude, eBay. That's awesome. I love it. Another guy on Etsy makes this little clip on. Okay. But uh, yeah, just pop this up, tuck it all in. I tell you what, you surprised me because I was not <laughs> expecting that. Awesome. Wow. Awesome. That's um, such a nice steering wheel, man. They're nice and fresh. Screen protector. That's really it. I got a kind of clean way for my uh, my charger right here. Little 90 degree to USB C. Oh, wow. Then into here, and then it comes out down oh, there. But six footer. Really nice. No, no wires in the way. I got no you. wires. That's awesome, dude. Let me think what else. Um, yeah, you see, there, there they are. Yep. A lot of people overlook this. They're like, oh, really? I didn't yeah. know they make them in black. Yeah. I tow a car. Uh, what do you mean? Now that was it. Yeah, okay. All <laughs> LEDs. LEDs, of course. All He's got LEDs. He's, See, he's not like me. He does them all. I uh, <laughs> I do them in little batches. Yeah. yeah. Um, Very cool. See, I, look at that. You stick the cover in there and nobody sees all this. Yeah. Uh, all this junk. You know what I mean? Yeah. The colors just disappear. You have yeah, no yeah. idea. Look at that. That's a perfect example right there. And honestly, all this goes Done. In, All that goes in there. Look too. at that. <laughs> yeah. That's the finale right there. Um, well, I like your, uh, your canvas back. Yeah. See, I don't have this piece. Oh, really? No. Maybe that came later. Uh, yeah, you know, mine is like a very early design. Call them up. They're good people. Yeah. They have, yeah I think I they'll send you one. I definitely mind. I do have some towing mods. I tow, uh, I I tow a car yeah. with this pretty often. Um, that's honestly its main goal and a yeah. winter vehicle and daily. So if you have a 4Runner, you'll know that the uh, connection for the trailer is not here. It's pretty deep yep. off a big bracket. Yes, it is. Right here. And I'll actually show them in the corner yeah. there how my mine looks because I left mine the way it is. Yeah, yeah. my trailer didn't reach or it, it did reach, so but you, it would pull out on turns. You did basically, you you relocated it. Relocated, made a custom bracket right wow. here. Um, factory wiring harness, don't have to do anything with the harness. This you, whole module reaches right I got here. you, yeah. Yeah. And you made it a lot more accessible. Yep. Very nice. Yeah. Um, I also have uh, airlift. Helper oh, springs. Yes, yes, yes. I know what you're talking about because, yeah. like you said, your toe. I don't know how well that's gonna show, but yeah, yeah. No, you can see it. The to red. The, the red. Yep. I tow about five thousand pounds, so five hundred ton weight. Um, what I did for the fill is I put my Schrader valve right here. Oh wow! So I that's where that. I fill up the bags. Very cool. I actually use this thing. This is a great product. Jump starter and air compressor. And, and light, so that's how I fill that up. Very cool. I didn't want the, that's this, awesome. is, this is debatable, but I didn't want a closed system even with zero PSI in it, because you, you might feel it. Like I got you, yeah. You're just yeah. like compress, compressing volumes. So I have no Schrader valve in there and I have this extender. So when I want to fill it up, I just, so this is open air right now. Like I got you, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I use this to tow. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thank you for sharing it with us, man. So what did you guys think? I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait to install my own cover on the trunk of my car. I think after seeing that, that's a must have for sure. Matt, thank you so much for coming and hanging out. It was a pleasure to meet you. I'm sure we'll be hanging out again soon. And as always guys, I wanna thank you for watching the video and do stay tuned because there's a few more tricks up my sleeve. And on that note, I will catch you guys on the next one.